Hey buddies, welcome to part two of episode 12. Thanks so much for the support on part one, guys. I didn't want to make you wait until tomorrow, so we're just releasing part two today as well. Enjoy. Paris, oh my days, everybody in there, 4312 today. Oh, he, he's still going to try the KSI, look, he's still going to go for the KSI glitch. Insane, man, insane. Everybody does it. Oh, God, track the person that's running right there. That was horrible. Woo. Why is there lag? Why? Oh, my God. Today's session is about portion control. What do you mean you can't? No, Sonny's not a day of rats. Sonny's a day of chance. What do you mean, no? But you need to eat right. No! Like this! Where is the team? Well, we had to go into another game because that other guy just quit out on us or whatever happened, so we'll see. You know what? If we can win this game, this will be a tough game. Maybe we'll do a double upgrade. I don't know. I feel like we deserve it since the other guy quit on us. Gary Cahill again. Everybody, why is everybody using him? Does he have like a Phantom 98 pace or something like that? Cool! Fuck you, Gary Cahill! Oh! Oh, well, they're pretty good! Well done, Dimitri! Yeah, he looks like a lost lost puppy dog out on the right mid, but... Hey, at least his set pieces are decent. Good finish, Mayuka. Oh, what the? You just smashed me in the face! No, oh my gosh, Romelu, no! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! No! Oh, yes. Oh, oh no, I don't like it. No, oh, my days. No, there's a goal. Oh my gosh, Jug! Finish it! Oh, yeah! Max! There's another gem. Just comes in late, picks up the ball, settles it with the touch, and puts it into the bottom right corner. Well done. You gotta be kidding me, right? This. What is up with the FIFA community, man? You, you, you beat someone fair and square with intelligent play. It's 30 minutes in. I've got a two-goal lead, and he quits in the quarterfinal of a gold cup. Whatever, bro. You know what? We deserve uh, another double upgrade. I know some of you are going to be like, Nick, you're just making up rules. But you know what? I went into the other game uh, with that other team and was willing to play out the game. And the guy quit the game or lost connection, even though it was 0-0. This game, we've won, you know, 2 nothing. This guy had a much more beastly team and tried a whole bunch of spam as well. So I feel like we deserve the double upgrade, at least for one player. So let's go see what we can double upgrade. Now, in terms of being able to upgrade two players or a double upgrade, we could go to a non-shiny silver midfielder here. We could potentially go to an inform right mid here, although I don't really feel like we would need to do that. Payette came good near the end. We could also go to a shiny, a non-shiny gold center back. So I think the two choices I'm going to do, I'm going to go look at all three of those options, but I think I'm either going to go with a defensive mid or with a non-shiny gold center back. Let's see what the options are. All right, so we're spoiled for choice in terms of our center back that we'd want to upgrade for a non-shiny. And uh, it's a tough choice for me, and I'm going to explain it why. I know a lot of you will be looking at this and be like, oh my god, Nick, get Marquinhos, Marquinhos. He's got pace. He'd be good out wide. I agree. The problem with picking Marquinhos and his non-shiny is this. I am only allowed to pick Marquinhos once, right? So if I have his non-shiny and I sub him out of the team for a shiny player, I cannot get him back. And what I mean by that is I cannot get his inform card back, right? Because I can only use a player once in a team until I sub him out. So I would like to save myself for the inform Marquinhos, if that makes sense. So hopefully you guys see where I'm coming from. And it's a very, it's going to be a tough call when it comes to being able to upgrade to someone like Thiago Silva. Do I wait? Do I wait and, and save up the coins and spend the money on a team of the season, Thiago Silva? Because really, I'm trying to build the best possible team here. So this is what kind of makes this series fun and, and, and difficult and entertaining for you guys is because obviously when I lose, I give you money. But second of all, I have to be intelligent with my team choices because I can only use players once. 
Having said that, I am going to either go with uh, Kanabiek or Sané. Now, I know a lot of you might look at this and be like, yeah, he's going to go with uh, Kanabiek because he's got a bit more pace and a little bit better defending. You know what? I'm actually not. I'm going to go with Sané. Why? Because Sané is six foot four and has a medium high work rate, which means he's going to be a better wide or middle center back, whereas the other gentleman had medium, medium work rates and was only 5'11 or 6 feet. So let's go with this beast. You know that we get overly cringy when it comes to removing players that have done well for us. This has been a tough one for me, guys. I just feel like I need to kind of go for a bit of the gusto here and try and push my center backs to a better rating. Oddly enough, my non-shiny bronze center defensive mids have been doing decent. Uh, it's getting a little bit dicey, but I want to shore up the center backs a bit better. So, unfortunately, that does mean that Bowie is going to be removed from the team. So, I'll give him a little... For doing so well for us, uh, let's look at his stats. How did he do? 15 games, he's gotten an assist. He's been incredible. So we're sad to see you go, my friend, and you will be missed. And this is going to be the team for next episode, guys. I put Sané in the middle because of his height, six foot four. He is actually a bit taller than Zuma, and he's got medium high work rates. Now, the center center back is a tough spot in a three at the back formation. Sometimes I like to have my center center back have high attacking work rates and high aggression. It means he really forces himself into strikers or center attacking mids and bullies them off the ball. Sometimes it's also nice to have a medium high center center back because that. That way he'll drop back and deal with the lob balls a lot better because people love to do it against three at the back formations or really any formation. So this is what we're going to roll with. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you beautiful people on the flip side. On to the semifinals.